Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm at the uh, Reading Blue Mountain and Northern's uh, main yard here in Reading, Pennsylvania. As you can see behind me, there's the switcher tower. And what we have to show you here, I'm actually not alone. I'm with uh, Revenge of the Apocalypse as well. Uh, we have a, a water tower here and we have two of Reading's passenger vehicle or passenger cars and then the 225 steam locomotive so i'm gonna turn the camera around and let you guys see what i'm looking at right now so currently this is what i'm looking at this is a passenger car these are self-powered units i believe yes they're self-powered units you get a refreshment car and the passenger car here as well plus you get the water tower and over here as you can see where Alan is standing the locomotive which also gives you a good size comparison now our reason for coming here today is Alan wanted to see this because he pre-ordered the Lionel version of this so he's gonna be doing a pretty cool video of the actual locomotive and once he gets the miniature locomotive to show the differences and introduce it that way and of course it's uh you know we're in march right now it's a beautiful day it's actually quite warm with the sun beating down on us so we're both in t-shirts right now i'm almost at the point where i could have wore shorts <laughs> um they do excursions here you can see there's christmas lights and stuff on the locomotive but they are currently closed with that due to the pandemic still going on a year later um, but there is a museum up in hamburg as well which is on this line we may actually take a ride up right over here is route 61 so going that direction takes you up towards uh, frackville and the coal region so we may take a ride up to Hamburg and uh, just take a walk around. They are The museum's only open on the weekends, so we won't be able to actually get in the museum, but I know Jay and I had talked about possibly going there in the future and doing a video, so we may actually get to do that at some point. So there's the water tower. Now I don't know if this water tower is original to this location. It looks like it could have been put here or moved here, but I could be wrong probably moved here because if you look at the tracks here you can see the asphalt around the tracks but this was probably added just to bring the locomotive out to the parking lot here to be able to display it so we did there is somebody here we did talk to them got some uh, answers to some questions they did say that we can uh, be out here filming and uh, if any trains come by we can go down there and check out try to get some footage of a train going by again you can see how the size of the locomotive is compared to Allen so this is a Canadian locomotive company built October 1913 Kingston Ontario so Sparky if you're watching one for you <laughs> you can see actually there's a part missing there so this one's not a non-running this will I, I believe they will be restoring this at some point they want to be able to use it for excursions and whatnot and you got it all boarded off right there so you can't get in it there's the tender definitely tell it's been sitting here a while the the trucks are like in the dirt and the asphalt there so it definitely doesn't move <laughs> it's neat 
how they have those lights set up to make it look like the steam coming out. If I would have known that, could have came out here in the winter time or around Christmas to see that. It would have been cool to see. tower is actually pretty impressive. Obviously I'm sure everything's locked up so we can't really get inside or anything. But you can get a pretty good idea as to how it looks. Uh, the gentleman that we spoke with, he said that they do have um, dining excursions that they do once in a while with these. So that may be something to look into. There's the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway. It looks like there was a uh, door here at one time that they filled in. Same with there. So, take a walk over towards the tracks, see if there's anything worthwhile looking at over here. And like I said, maybe we'll get lucky and a train will come by. All right, so as you can see here, you got covered staircase here, all done up in uh, vintage looking woodwork that leads down to the loading platform or loading area. Oh, there's some uh, old telegraph poles going through there. Probably some insulators on there. And here you got the, the main line looking down. So this, this track that we're at right now ends down there. It looks like it doesn't go, doesn't reconnect back to the line. So the, the, you got two main lines out there and then this line here. It looks like that outer track is pretty they probably don't use that outer track because I don't know if you can see it in the video, but from where I'm standing, I can see that's pretty wavy. Yeah, you can see it. In the, it goes up and down, up and down. And then and looking back the other direction towards the switching tower. Here they probably, they got power that they can plug in those cars, so they probably bring those two, uh, cars down here to do the dinner excursions. And you got two switcher engines sitting over here. Which we'll get closer to it and I'll pick up from over there. There you got a pretty cool looking old vintage sign. Railroad crossing danger, look out for trains. And the old style lamps, which they probably have upgraded to LED inside. And you can see the ornate artwork in it some benches to be able to sit here and watch a nice little area to sit in rail fan too this box car is pretty cool too because it shows a map of uh, the line from Reading to Port Clinton Pottsville Tremont Tamaqua Ashland Mount Carmel the height and Crestwood to Scranton, Pittston, and Mihunapane, however you say that, and then also to Canada. So that was probably the line that goes up through the Taylor Yard. And then up over the uh, viaduct. This is 
pretty neat too. I go out the wide angle here. And sorry for the chainsaws. We got a looks like a pallet company over here. They're out working, making use of the nice weather. So you got switcher engines 1540 and 1541. A couple more staircases, and then your ticket booth for your rides. And all the uh, there's a old signal, and then the switch. Which is there an actual switch there? That might just be for display. Well, no, I actually have a switch there. Huh. Yeah. I don't think that's actual for use because there's no other track for it to continue on. Oh, uh, it looks like, okay, so there's a rail going out that way and it stops right there. So that would have been switching into that. It's probably just for display. So this is the line going towards where those cars are sitting. Here you got a sign that says, Delaware and Hudson Company notice this is not a public crossing. All persons are forbidden to trespass upon or cross the railroad lands of this place under penalty of the law. But we didn't get permission, so we're good. love the old signs it's pretty cool all right so there's a look at all that there for now um, like I said we'll uh, maybe take a ride up to Hamburg see what we can see at the museum up there because there's a lot of static display outside that we might be able to get some footage of from the outside even though the museum is closed they do open on the weekends but I would have to check on what their actual schedule is with the pandemic and everything going on so for now we're gonna hop back in the apocalypse and take a ride up there and we'll catch up with you when we get up there stop at a hobby shop in Reading. Uh, um, it's not mine. <laughs> anyway, for those of you who ask what he does, where he gets his money from, yeah, um, I'd like to know that too. You know where it goes. <laughs> yeah, we know where it goes. <laughs> Don't be surprised after the next stop that you see something else on this side. <laughs> I'm going budget-wise cheap used and he's just going... <laughs> but anywho, we are currently on 222 in I'm Amish country. Well, except for that development over there. <laughs> Route that I know very well. Anytime I go down to the York area, whenever I go visit, visit with Matt or my tractor buddy or now Nick's crossing, so uh, definitely look forward to more trips down here. So, in the meantime, wait until wait until you see what we have in store for you next. Sorry to disappoint you on the Hamburg thing, but we'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. I promise. We'll get there.
All right, guys, we finally made it to our, uh, after a couple stops along the way, uh, made it to our next location, which um, we're out in Strasburg right now. Uh, we are at the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum. And of course it's closed due to the pandemic, but we can at least take a look at what's on static display outside. There is a fence here, so we won't be able to go inside or get up close to anything, but we can at least Take a look at what we can see already i'm a little excited about gg1 <laughs> so we're gonna take a walk around here we can also i've been out here uh, i was out here a month ago you can look through the windows and see the stuff that's inside on the other side of the building so we'll check that plus strasburg railroad is right across the street so we may take a peek over there as well all right so as you can see here you got some real classic iron sitting right there and then right over here is where the turntable is this is something that's familiar to me it's lehigh valley i think that's an, an rdg unit <clears throat> so that's like a basically self-propelled unit <clears throat> and then the gg1 there is another gg1 inside that is restored this one's not restored, so we'll take a closer peek at that when we walk back. But just give you a peek at this one here. And you can see the windows are really hard to see through. This one's uh, definitely in need of some work. So looking straight ahead over there, you can see there's a trolley sitting there behind the caboose. And then you got a switcher unit sitting on the turntable. There's a crane sitting right here. All the different tracks going in. A couple Pennsylvania Railroad locomotives. A lot of history sitting here. pretty pretty cool and then obviously you got the beautiful Lancaster County area here you got your uh, horse and buggy lane right here for the Amish you can definitely tell where they run you can see where the horses gallop along and the wheels from the buggies run along the side of the road here Now, I'm not sure what these locomotives are. I'll have to look up the numbers and maybe I can uh, find out some information and put it on the screen for you. As I pretty much learn as I go here with doing this stuff. So, you got an old Amtrak unit here. I know if Jamie's watching she remembers seeing these gg1s in action which i found out that they they still were in use by amtrak and, and new jersey transit till 1983 is when they finally went out of service with them so i never knew that i didn't realize they ran that long so there's a good possibility i may have seen these as a kid and just never really paid attention to them back then you know because that would have been three four years old now here you can adopt adopt a train to uh it looks like somebody climbed up there there's a footprint right there <laughs> like really and of course they rode on the side of it with their fingers but one other thing too which i learned is that the gg1s were basically two locomotives connected together uh, single body put over top of them and you can see that in this representation right here
And you got a Redding. Redding car over here. The observation car on the back. And there's the Strasburg Railroad. A speeding F-150. <laughs> and the little GMC that could, trying to keep up with it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take a drive over to the parking lot on the other side and give you a peek of what's inside through the glass. So you can uh, get an idea of what they have that's already restored in there. All right, so here's a look of the other side of the building. As you can see, Alan already ran up there like a little kid. <laughs> get that first view. So this is actually where, for you guys who follow Sparky 107-107, this is where he planned on doing his meetup last year that he unfortunately had to cancel due to the pandemic so still looking forward to being able to come see this place I don't know if I'm gonna be oh somebody in there running <laughs> maybe it is open I well, didn't think it was but all right I'll give you a little peek here best I can with the glare Yeah. There's somebody in there jogging too. Yeah. I want his job. Yeah, right. What's that? There's a fucking conrail. Yeah. So give you as best a look here as I can. With the glare, like I said, it's kinda hard to see, but I'd love to get in there. <laughs> now, it's a shame we don't have smell of vision because, like I said, we are in Lancaster County. We are in Amish country and you can definitely smell it. <laughs> There's actually farmland surrounding all of this, so you can see all the different farms around here got an old uh, bench right here sorry about the glare not the bald one right there I think believe last time I was here I looked both of these are bald ones Tower, light switching tower right here. And of course, you can't see through this section, so we got to walk all the way over to this side. There's a what looks like a bridge, or parts of a bridge. <clears throat> Conrail? Yeah. Not yet. Okay, so if you look in the window... Oh, there's a GZ1 all the way in the back there. So if you look straight back behind the Pennsylvania car, because right here we got a... Uh, what do we got here? can't see. Looks like a coal car, Pennsylvania coal car, Penn Central car, Pennsylvania Railroad box car, Another locomotive, and then behind that is a GG1 straight back. And then there is a Conrail in here, which I think you can see from back here. Now he has to look over. Oh, do yeah. All right. And here's a business car, it looks like, with an observation deck on the back. Yeah, you can see that from over here. Can you? Uh, is this another bald one? No, this is a Lima, uh, Lima, Lima, however you say that. Let's 
So I'll go around this back side here. <coughs> I mean, this place is massive. They got the really big fans up top to help with airflow. Mm, glares. Now we got worse sunlight on this side. You see it? No. I'll show you later. Alright. Here we got a darker window. And again, really sorry about the glare. It's not much I can do about it with the sun. Get, uh, go over back around the other side, see if we can get you a peek of the uh, Conrail in there. And you can look at this view. In the meantime. Alright guys, I switched the phone here and put it on wide angle because I'm able to put it up, up against the glass flat. So here's a better, better look. If you look straight back into your left right there is the conrail so there is information online you can look things up there's pictures and stuff online about uh, what's actually in here and uh, what's been restored what needs to be restored things like that so definitely want to come back and check this out when they open it up i do have some pictures from the last time i was here so i'll i'll make sure to put them in where I can get them in so all right well I guess that's gonna wrap it up for this video uh, we did take a little ride through Strasburg across the street and uh, they're closed right now so obviously we can't really get in there to look at anything so we'll come back and do another video on that when they're open sometime and maybe take uh, a ride on the excursion when that's available to take so uh, in the meantime we're gonna start making our way back to my location to well my first do or where I live <laughs> so that he can get going and get back home and uh, do his thing so I want to thank you all for watching make sure to check out his channel as well description or the description will be in the link below the link will be in the description below where it normally is and uh, we'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching thumbs up thumbs up give us thumbs up Turn this thing off.